Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is going to be a prequel to the Polyrhythm series. I know it's kind of late, but I wanted to explain to you all where we were going to go with this series and why. More often than not, people come to me and their idea of polyrhythms are backwards. So, for example, they'd be perceiving 4 over 5 as 5 over 4 and vice versa. Now, to dive into this a little further, let's talk about the easiest way to figure out a polyrhythm in its most basic form. So, for this demonstration, let's talk about 5 over 4. Now, the wording is important. We're going to cram 5 equally spaced notes over top of 4 equally spaced notes that either have to be our pulse or be in closest relation to our pulse within those two numbers. For example, the 4 could represent quarter notes in a bar of 4-4. Four, four or eighth notes, or whatever. It's now our job to cram five equally spaced notes over top of those four equally spaced notes within the same time frame. Okay, so the easiest way to figure this out is within the numbers themselves. So let's take five over four. Now, we've already determined that the four has to be relative to our pulse. So let's take the four as quarter notes within a bar of four, four. Now, to cram five equally spaced notes over top of that, we're going to need to cut those quarter notes into quintuplets, which are groups of five. Now, it's no coincidence that the five is also the top number of our polyrhythm, but that's not where it ends. We have to then decide how many notes we have there. We have 20 notes. Now, within those 20 notes, how do we cut that up into five equal spaces? Well, we have to play every fourth one, which is our bottom number. Again, no coincidence, these numbers just entirely work into themselves to make this polyrhythm. So we're going to play every fourth quintuplet within a bar of 4-4, four, four, and that gives us five equally spaced notes over four equally spaced notes. Let's hear it. So we'll start with just quintuplets, and then I'll start accenting every fourth one. So let's try it again, just to make sure you understand. Let's take, say, 8 over 3. Now, just like before, we're going to take the bottom number and have that relative to our pulse. So we'll play a bar of 3, 4, and have our 3 be equivalent to quarter notes. So on top of that, we're going to have 30 second notes, which is our 8, and we're going to play every third one, which again is our bottom number, 8 over 3. Check it out. Eight equally spaced notes over three equally spaced notes. There you have it. So I decided before I did this series that I was going to make a graph. Now this graph took all the numerical values between two and eight and it put them for both top and bottom numbers of a polyrhythm which gives us a whole slew of different numbers on top of other numbers. Now when we remove the redundant ones like the same number on top of itself and stuff that can be fractionally reduced we're left with 28 different polyrhythms. So I just decided well let's make a series fully explaining polyrhythms and all the theory and then going through every single one of these 28. Now of course these 28 rhythms don't represent every single polyrhythm by any stretch of the imagination. This is just a chunk of the more basic ones that I wanted to cover for all you guys. I figured by the time any of you have gone through at least some of these videos, you're going to have a pretty strong grasp of how polyrhythms work, how to figure them out, and how to incorporate them into your own playing. So that's what you can be looking forward to within this series. The first video covers theory and how those polyrhythms that always get confused, like 2 over 3 and 3 over 2, and how they're different. It goes through all that kind of stuff. And all the following videos are going to take some of these 28 polyrhythms that we're going to cover, and it's just going to go through every single one based on subdivision in their most basic form. I hope you guys can enjoy and get some use out of this series. I'm Aaron Edgar. Subscribe, because there's a whole lot more coming. Bye.